Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Grosvenor Vale, home of Wheelstone Football Club, <coughs> for today's WFC TV production of Wheelstone against Dagenham and Redbridge in the Nash Van Rama National League. And it's very blowy up here in the camera gantry, so if you hear any extraneous noise, apologies for that. Wow. I can't believe how unpleasant it is actually up here. But not unpleasant is the fact that I'm joined today by the former Wheelstone and Dagenham legend, and I don't think that's putting it too strongly, George Duck, who spent seven years at Wheelstone, seven seasons, <laughs> scoring 251 goals. And then crossed over, he left Wilstone in 79, crossed over, signed for Dagenham, and scored a further 55 goals in two years. And I make that, before we introduce George properly, I make that an average of one every 1.4 games, which is an extraordinary strike rate. So good afternoon, George. And Dagenham are going to have the kick off. And we're underway in the Vanarama National League game at Grosvenor Vale. And an early call from the keeper, but he's never going to make that one. We could hear that in the commentary box, but nobody really heard that at home. But a loud call from Jake Askew, and it's cleared by Joe Lowu, but uh, Dagnan back in possession. Now McCallum, who seems to have ditched his blonde hairstyle this afternoon. There's a good chance from left, and this is Valetti, I think. Good save by Askew. He's loose, and there's a great follow up, and Dagnan are ahead <coughs> with Angelo Belanta in the opening minute here at Grosvenor Vale. First progress was made by Mario Valletti down the left. The ball came out and George, terrible start for Willstone. <coughs> terrible start, yeah, they got away, got free down the left-hand side and keeper made an initial excellent first stop, but the ball pad came out and Valanta smashed it in. And there's Will Wright playing out from the back. And now LF Terrio inside and a little layoff by Valanta and a ball oh, round the again. back. And they're in again, it's just cool. Oh. Oh, good save by Askew. Saidu Khan was the chance there, and he's played a great... That was a <coughs> vital save by Jake Askew. Well, I'm sure those Daggers fans watching this afternoon will be absolutely delighted with that start. The early goal provided by Balanta. Absolutely, absolutely. Balanta, as I mentioned earlier, got the only goal at Victoria Road as when these teams met in October. And there's Will Wright carrying the ball from deep. And an easy little... Oh, and there's another goal. Oh. It's 2 0 to Dagnum. <coughs> Matt Robinson finishing, accomplished finish off his right foot, but Wilson was stripped bare there, George. That's a, that's a poor goal to concede. Will Wright has run a long way with the ball there unchallenged. Nobody's got across there, and he's just, just played it the ball where he wanted to. And who was it who scored, Tim? Sorry? It was uh, uh, Robinson who scored. Matt Robinson, Robinson scored, yeah. Who scored in midweek. He just got it on target, really, and the keeper, unfortunately, I think he anticipated and just. Ball went over him, so. But Dagnum back in possession. They look very, very comfortable on the ball, don't they, George? Yeah, every time they get it here, they're looking to um, Balanta and Callum are playing on the shoulders of the Wheelstone defenders here. So they're looking to, you know, the ball's holding up with the wind. So they're looking to, to play up to them and, and through over the top. Here's Denna Lewis. As Wheelstone trying to work an opening oh, on the left, but it well charged right, yeah. down and Balanta in possession. He's got a left area outside him. And he puts uh, left arrow in. The ball well held up there. McCallum yeah. on the end couldn't quite. Good stuff. Good play there from the Dagenham. Header. Yeah, he did well yeah, there. Yeah, did he? well. Got it. Got it wide. Got a good cross in. Big fella's got the header in, but couldn't control it. But it helps when you've got the sort of money behind you that <coughs> um, Peter Freund has. And there's the touch through. And it's a good ball position on the far left hand side. Here. On the side of the edge of the box, and there's a hit, shit to oh, corner, it's what, what a great a goal for Dagenham, that's 3-0, <coughs> and it's McCallum who hits the target this time. Yes, well worked down the left-hand side again, played back, and who was it who scored that, was it? It was, uh, um, it was McCallum. McCallum, Mc Paul was McCallum it? Was stuck it? the ball away. Was it? Super strike from outside the box, yeah. Low down to the keeper's right. As right, plays the ball in. And there's a, a free, free header from McCallum. Good save by Jay Caskey. And should McCallum's have scored, really. annoyed with himself there. Yeah, should have scored. But again, you have to wonder who's marking him. You got And the ball is played loose. Played short, rather. And there's Wright pinging the ball in. Askew with an important flying yes. leap and getting this 
getting his left hand to it for the punch. Reynolds, Callum Reynolds inside and a decent ball into oh, the box by ball. Jones and oh. there's another goal. <coughs> McCallum gets his second goal of the afternoon and it's 4-0 to Dagenham and Well, Redbridge. it's an excellent goal for Dagenham there. I mean, played on the right-hand side. He had a good ball clipped in there and McCallum's got on the end of it. But once again, the, the marking and the challenge is non-existent in the Wheelstone defence. Well, yes. I don't know about you at home, but we're watching here through our fingers being destroyed as, um, here. Being as, destroyed. Wheel, as Wheelstone trail 4-0. With 36, 37 minutes gone. And Wilson now charged with defending another free kick from Will Wright. 4 0. I'm after interested 40 to see minutes. where he's standing. McCallum, he's standing offside at the moment behind our. He'll drop back into position back, there, yeah, try yeah. and get on the end of this. But again. Uh, and Alowu. And uh, uh, oh, been cleared off. Great clearance oh, off the line Jesus by Joe Alowu. Astonishing clearance. And I think that was Robinson's <laughs> shot at the far post as he hooked his his, uh, his volley towards the far corner. Yeah. Askew but beaten, but there was a low to kick off the line, so it could have been even worse, George. But again, a quality ball into the box again, you know, a, swir a curved ball into the box there. The yeah, very, the very impressed. Very Inside impressed. Khan, who's been one of their main men, taking on Ashley Charles. Oh, he's done he's it. Gone, he's got worked the ball to his left foot and a tremendous shot. Oh. He's hit the post, smack on the post. What a piece of play that was. Fantastic Khan, piece of decent, front play. What a decent player he is. But uh, his game, uh, uh. he's fairly anonymous in that game, so he's... That would have been sensational if that yeah, goal he, had gone in. He's come <laughs> on leaps and bounds yeah. aside you can't. But again, it's Jay confidence, Kaskew. you see, they're so confident because they're 4 nil up. You know, you can yeah. do these things. And Jay Caskew kicking the ball, the um, former Chelsea Academy goalkeeper, kicking the ball in anger and frustration out of the ground right. as the half-time whistle yeah. went. Alex Dyer, who was, of course, with Wilson um, eight, nine years ago before going on to have a, a good professional career with Ostersons in Sweden. And here's Ashley Charles winning the ball, having a shot from distance and a good save by Elliot Justin. Decent effort from Ashley Charles. That's Wilson's first shot in anger really this afternoon. John Morton. I think that's our first shot. And I, I do think there's a difference, whether it's because I've now replaced George and things have, have, <laughs> have, have pecked up a bit. Because normally when I come down here with you, Tim, we see a few goals and Wilson have been quite successful. But um, Oh, good turn by Danny Parrish. Good movement. Sunny Blue touching back. Right. And Parrish on his oh. left foot. And I think oh. that hit the heel, the back of the heels yeah. of Charlie Hughes. Which then the ball could have been troubling Elliot Justin there. And here's the uh, the carrot topped number 19, Tom Smith. I'm not sure you're allowed to say that anymore, are you? <laughs> I think <it's laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was Prince Harry for a minute, but uh, I'll call him Ginger. Oh, good, what a great, what effort. a good save, and what a good save from Jay Caskew. Excellent save, Maragall and someone and someone's tapped him on the back. Yeah, well, good. Well, so they should. So yeah. he certainly, he's pulled off a string of saves in this. Although Wilson have had a string of defeats, you can hear him now. That's much better. That's true, actually. Willstone growing into themselves in the second half. Here's Smith again, looking very lively since he'd been on. And Vilhetti. Facing Alex Dyer, and he plays a good ball inside and a good little flick. Good work between Belanta and, McCall yeah. and McCallum. Belanta had the shot, well saved again by Askew. And appeal for a foul on the edge of the box for Dagenham. The referee waves away. And we've reached the end of the 90 minutes, and we've got just two minutes of added time. Jay Caskew has been named as man of the match, and here's another test for him. The ball played in the path of Robinson, who uh, finishes away. tucked away Finished very well. neatly. That's a shame. It is a shame. That's a shame. Right far at the end of the game. Performance but in the second half. Matthew Robinson, yeah. Matt Robinson making it 5 0 in the first minute of injury time. Very unselfish McCallum, who could have had a strike himself, but laid in his. Uh, yeah, man, laid on, in Robinson. man on a hat trick as man well. Man on a hat trick as well, yeah. Many lesser players, I think, would have gone for goal himself. Yeah. But. <laughs> and there we go. Final whistle from referee Elliot Swallow. And another unhappy afternoon for Wilson at Grosvenor Vale in the Van Rama National League. 4 0 down at half time. Finally, 5 0 at the final score. Great result for the Daggers as they continue their push up towards a possible end of season playoff space. Thank you for listening in and watching this afternoon.